Uh, thank you, Sahara, for being here again. So, thank you. To begin with the first ter <laughs> terminology that you use here, uh, what do you mean about <laughs> so, um, in a way, um, I could just drop the word interstellar and say shamanic and uh, working shamanically um, and sh uh, shamanism because I feel I believe I know I sense and I have experienced that um, <laughs> the awareness of uh, shamanism is that everything is connected uh, that we are not living in separation and live, we live within Mother Earth, which is a planet, and this planet has a soul. And there are beings within her soul, her planet, her Earth, that have souls. There are many resonances and dimensions within each mm -hmm. being. So the earth, the planet, is not just the earth with oceans and lands that we see in the physical, but there is a soul vibration, there is spirit, there are, um, there's light, there's sound, and there is um, resonances and dimensions, higher frequencies that are held within the earth, like a human being we are a physical body we also have a light body some people call it our aura it's an energetic field that surrounds us mm -hmm. we also have chakras in our body so what are chakras and we kind of go oh yeah okay or we might not but they are energy centers oh so they are like the heart chakra they are an energy center which opens up to so much information and it's like a portal, a doorway that we access um, so many other dimensions and resonances and energies and information and codes. Um, you can say the earth has ley lines, like the human body has, um, uh, like the Chinese have, you know, they track uh, the meridian lines in our body for acupuncture there's energy that's running we um so there's there's layers and layers and layers and so being able to see um the macrocosm the connection not within just our individual self but as a collective human being humanity how that's connected to the ecosystem the environment the planet and how the planet is connected to the other planets, like astrology will map that, how the other planets are connected to each other and the sun and the moon, the Milky Way. There are many universes, there's the multiverse. It's not just one universe. And so I feel, I believe, I know, <laughs> and it has a remembering that, um, the cultures the, that lived, and, um, and still some do, um, <clears throat> prior to Christianity or the major belief systems, mm -hmm. and even within Christianity and the major belief systems like um, Islam, there is the mystic section of those major religions. The mystics, for me, uh, like Sufism or alchemy and Christianity 
holds it for me the essence, the memory of what I would call shamanism. Um, Gnosticism is, an, is a, you could say, also takes a bit of that as well. So <clears throat> um, not everybody in my area who are drawn to my area are familiar with the term shamanism, mm -hmm. but they will be connected to the term interstellar or galactic. <laughs> There's a lot of people who come to me who have had a memory or feel a resonance with some of my images of galactic beings or having been or having lived a galactic life or feeling a connection that there's more than we're seeing in the physical. Um, so I journey, I travel, um, not only to uh, what you could say is the, the upper world, the middle world and the lower world, which are the, the kind of the um, generic shamanic realms but other other worlds because <laughs> I have trained in shamanism okay. and I I found that I would for instance I go either to the lower realm um, or the upper realm and then I'd be, go be shooting off elsewhere <laughs> I'll be finding other realms I'm like this isn't what's <laughs> what's going on <laughs> So that's uh, that's a bit of a long answer to interstellar shamanism. So I could just put shamanism, but I feel um, it's, it's, it's just there to assist people to kind of to realize I don't just and it's no just I don't just connect with spirits and guides within Earth. Like people might be familiar. Oh, what is my spirit animal guide? What is my plant guide? Even maybe what's my fairy guide? Mm -hmm. um, or my uh, 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 or connect with the stone people, the stone resonance beings. I also connect with beings from other planets. I connect with beings and energies from other universes. So that's why that's probably the most simple. Actually, the bit at the end is probably <laughs> the most simple. Beautiful. Wow. Yes, because I was like totally connected shaman, shaman, the word shaman, with Indian people, you know, because here in Mexico, we have a lot of shaman that guide you through a certain ceremony with, with drugs like peyote or like aguayasca or things like that. So it's very good that you clarify this, you know, like <laughs> we never know what is about it. <laughs> yes, because I've, I've been in um, ceremonies one-to-one uh, -one and in groups, shamanic ceremonies, mm -hmm. I can go into what you would call altered states of consciousness without having to take what you would say plant medicine. Mm -hmm. um, we In the Northern shamanic uh, traditions, very and, and Native American, and, I, and probably where you are in South America, you, use, you can use drumming, that, uh, the, the rhythm gets us into that, that um, theta That's state right. that, yeah. Um, but I don't even need the drumming. <laughs> wow. So, um, yes, so that that has been my journey on how to manage my my um, state of being, which can can go woo very easily. Uh, a lot of people that I've worked with find it hard to go into other states of being. So it's been an interesting journey for me <laughs> to to work with people that have, how they're on the other side of the spectrum in a way. <laughs> I'm on one when I'm like, how on earth am I going to manage being in nine to five job <laughs> in the city, getting on the tube where I'm getting all these visions? I don't know what to do. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, yes. <laughs> and I think... <laughs> Uh, so yes, that's been my journey. <laughs> so I went on a healing course, um, and <clears throat> I, I, for my first uh, uh, case study client, I we had to have case studies. Um, even how I got on that course is a story, but I'm trying. I, I try to keep this succinct. <laughs> um, 
because I he has to keep that succinct to park that. So um, and I had my first case study, which was when I was a social worker and I with my friend who was a social worker and we we're in a building, an office building in London, you not in a in a yurt in the forest by a fire, um, you know, drumming or anything else. <laughs> it's in, in a setting where you would have uh, meetings and social work meetings. And we're sitting there, you know, with the metal chairs and white walls. And um, I booked the room and I sit down and, and, and my intention was I'm going to do some chakra healing. I'm going to do some, you know, what you call right Reiki healing, a bit of moving the energy and <laughs> bring in some light maybe and come from the heart. And we time travel back to Egypt. We are there. Um, so it's not even, oh, I've got a memory of it. It's like, we're there. So I start saying to her, oh, gosh, you've got this, you've got these robes on. Can you see the room we're in? And she's, she's going, oh, my God, that's what I'm seeing. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we're both having this experience. And I and, and so then I have my supervision. This is my first session with my first case study. I sit down okay. and I go, this is what has happened to me with the, you know, I knew we were being taught where the chakras are. And she said, you know, you're working at an advanced level. I'm like, no, you're working at an advanced level. <laughs> Do what you're doing with the case studies. When you go to college, tick the boxes. So do what you're doing in the case studies, but make sure you're ticking the boxes in the college. I'm like, how am I going to do that? <laughs> So that's another, that's kind of also what I've had a review recently. So um, that was my journey in the in the two years to um, learning, okay, I function in the way that I do and not how other people do. And how do I relate to other people um, given that, given that I'm, I'm different. In, in, and there are other people who are like me, um, a lot who have had to dial down, had to um, stop remembering. And many people are waking up now. And those people who are waking up, they're having quite steep awakenings. It's all coming in very, very fast. Um, so I'm also, I feel well placed because I can I can go, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here for you. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Um, so I am no longer feeling I'm on my own and different because so many people are waking up and people are waking up much, even those who've been awake for a while, when you could say awake or aware, are now waking up even even more. Yeah, so... <laughs>